I get asked all the time when I'm streaming on Twitch or in my comments on my YouTube channel about what is the best way for a new programmer to learn? And it's a good question. I mean, I feel like people have a limited amount of time and they want to spend that time as efficiently as possible and they want to get the most bang for their buck when they're studying. So solid question. I would tell you that that question is actually problematic for, for a few reasons and I want to tell you why. But before we get into that, this new segment that I'm doing, Low Level Rant, or, no, ugh, I can't even talk, Low Level Rants, is basically supposed to be me unedited talking to you guys about things that I have serious opinions on in a way that's a little more connected uh, and not as edited and oh my God, YouTube style. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. Um, but I, I get asked this all the time, right? What is, what is the best way to learn how to program? And you know, I would say that there is no best way. Before you click off, there's a, there's a reason for that answer. I think it's really problematic if you spend all of your time trying to figure out the best way to do anything. You live in the state of analysis paralysis and you'll never really actually get anything done. A video by the CEO of Patreon that I look to both for content creation on the YouTube side and for my day job talks about the idea of funnels where life is all about these things called funnels. And I'll draw a crappy one here where essentially, uh, I closed it off, but it, imagine that it's a little wider at the bottom. You put things at the top and things sometimes come out at the bottom and there's some conversion rate, right? Where if you put in a hundred things at the, at the top, some number of things come out at the bottom. And this funnel could be, you know, out, out of a hundred programs that you write, for example, only N of them matter. Let's say maybe it's two or maybe it's four. And by matter, it could mean that you learn something or that it actually gets put on your resume or whatever. Life is about funnels in that for you to get these two or four, or maybe even eight, that's a high conversion rate, 8%, but eight things that you learn something from or you can actually put on your resume, you have to write a hundred programs. You have to just churn out code. And along the way, you will learn these little micro lessons that will make you a better programmer. And in the short term, it may not feel like you're learning much of anything. But in the long run, you will eventually create this funnel in your life where by, before you realize it, a hundred problems later, you've written these two that can go into a resume and get you a job. So I think it's really important to think about life in terms of funnels. So when you're choosing whether or not you want to learn, you know, C first, or you want to learn Rust, or maybe you want to learn JavaScript, right? These are all vastly different languages, each with their own pros and cons. And so again, the question of which one do I learn first is a good question. And specifically, if you're trying to get a job in an industry like Embedded, for example, obviously prefer these two, C and Rust. Or if you're trying to get a job in Web Dev, maybe you do JavaScript or it's sister or TypeScript, right? All these things. But if you spend your time trying to decide which one is the best one, you're going to waste your time. I would say for people who are trying to learn, pick a language that you like. It doesn't matter if it is in the industry you're going for. It doesn't matter if it's the language that your job wants you to learn. Pick a language that you like. Because by picking a language that you like, you can use that language in your free time, genuinely enjoy it, and get back to creating that funnel, a better funnel this time, where you can just create these projects that will teach you the things you need to learn. Anyway, that's my first rant. I hope you guys like that. This format is a little more free for me. I feel like I can just kind of talk and it's not so much of like a bing, bang, boom, YouTube format. Uh, so if you like that, do me a favor, hit a, the, leave a comment down below. And then uh, we'll see you guys in about a week. I'm trying to do these weekly. So we'll do my regular videos on Saturday and then my weekly drops of my low level rants on either Tuesday or Wednesday. So let me know what you think and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.